接下来，请收看《大宝法王慈悲开示》。Nam lagi sama lah, thomar. Hmm, ada di lirik sumpah syara. Jadi, tadi ini, eh, ni mana macam ni dah? Thomas di syari orang. Tapi ada ngaji syari ya, jadi jasa lain. सुधी में दी चाचा जी कर रहा था ट्वीट लोच तो ना जी ये बारे में नहीं जो संदा कहाँ कौन तो लाभ जाए कर दे शून्य पर जी जो लाभ जाए दे चिंता अच्छे इन दे शो दे लिया आ डॉलर सोए डॉलर सोए लाभ जाए शी Sadi, tu dia harus. Good morning, everyone. Today is our last day, which means that this morning we will complete our exploration of the thirty-seven practices of the Bodhisattvas. Yesterday we completed the sections concerning the training of a Bodhisattva, the section on the six perfections. And that on the four dharmas taught in the sutras. s h 
Shoda Shoda Susu Jeeva Shloga Susu Sumba Nigur Wangi Pizu Jeeva Tesam Gombe Chawan Yam Jeeva Zashe Kim Da Jida Kim Namla Chapapoma Yasela Nings Da Digi Then, Labja Labja Sumba, Dolly Chow, Labja Sumba, Jindaga Chimney Chapapo, and Sadimba. Continuing from where we left off, on page 31, stanza 33, toward the top of the page, presents the third of the four Adharmas of the Sutras, Adharmas taught in the Sutras, which is a uh, training in abandoning attachment to the homes and wealth of donors or patrons. It says, due to wealth and honor, we quarrel with one another, and the activities of hearing, contemplation, and meditation diminish. It is therefore the practice of a bodhisattva to abandon attachment to the homes of benefactors and loved ones. Jenada, Janile, Nebato, Kuti, Zimbege, Zashe, Toboda, Zindala Sobala, Chabe Wanga, Chabe Junzengi, Tibo Chamber Shube Kansa, Nam Pizu, Nigur Yudendo, Seba Jua, Tan, Tesam Gombala Sabe, Chawanamja, Yamber Jua in Bishina. When Mahayana practitioners become overly attached to uh, friends and donors, especially the homes of friends and donors, who are sources of both um, acquisition or donations uh, and uh, respect, this can cause competition among such practitioners for the sponsorship of such donors, which in turn uh, causes an impairment, brings an impairment of their discipline of hearing thinking and meditating. So it is therefore a practice of a bodhisattva to not become attached uh, to the homes of uh, patrons or any place where uh, you expect to receive donations and respect. <laughs> Dejibadi <laughs> Chokshi Seda Uh, 
Simple chesa and the Luin chesa of Samaraji Tende mena Tene give it to you soon. The principal message of this stanza is that we need to abandon attachment to um, acquisition and respect. About this, the great early Kadampa uh, masters said. The possession of contentment is the greatest wealth. The absence of craving is the greatest happiness. Without contentment, even if someone came to own the entire world, the whole planet, they would not be satisfied and they would therefore not be happy. On the other hand, if you have contentment, then even if your clothing and food are meager or shoddy, you'll still be happy. Likewise, if you have no craving, if you don't want things particular, particularly, you'll be perfectly happy because not wanting things, you won't worry about getting them, therefore you won't be stressed out, therefore you'll be perfectly happy. That's <laughs> The next stanza, stanza 34, says, Harsh words disturb the minds of others and cause bodhisattva activity to diminish. It is therefore the practice of a bodhisattva to abandon harsh words that are unpleasant to others. This is an instruction to refrain from harsh or abusive speech. Gee, Tanaji in a sense, this is quite easy to understand. What it describes is a situation where, motivated by any one of the three poisons, one uh, speaks harshly to another person. Whether what one actually says is true or untrue, and whether you actually utter the uh, harsh words yourself or somehow get somebody else to do it for you, in either case, it's no good. And it's no good for two reasons. The first reason is it hurts people. It disturbs other people's minds. Second reason is it, contra it contradicts the bodhisattva discipline of being gentle and restrained in speech. Nyomon 
Stanza 35 uh, reads, When the afflictions are habitual, they are hard to cast away with antidotes. Therefore, with mindfulness and attentiveness, wielding the weapon of the antidote, it is the practice of a bodhisattva to crush mental afflictions such as attachment as soon as they first arise. This is the instruction on the um, uh, crushing or flattening uh, of mental afflictions, which is the third section of the instructions on the bodhisattva's training. The first was the training in the six perfections, the second was training in the four dharmas taught in the sutras, and this is the third. Chinese,你不 你不多高。你不多高。你不多高。你不多高。你不多高。你不多高。你不多高。你不多高。你不多高。你不多高。你不多高。你不多高。你不多高。你不多高。你不多高。你不多高。你不多高。你不多高。你不多高。你不多高。
the weapon of the particular remedy for the particular klesha. Now, mindfulness refers to a recollection, memory, mindfulness of what you want to do and what you want to not to do. So it's mindfulness that enables you to make the correct moral choices in the beginning. But in addition to mindfulness, we need vigilance. And vigilance is the actual awareness, ongoing and frequently refreshed awareness of what is actually happening with your body, speech and mind, what they're actually doing, what their state actually is. And so by possessing mindfulness and alert vigilance and maintaining these all the time, you remain careful. And by being careful or circumspect, you can, as soon as a klesha arises, stamp it out. And that's what the third line describes when it says, as soon as a klesha has arisen, a klesha such as attachment and so on has arisen, stamp it out. And you stamp it out by applying the remedy as soon as it arises when the klesha is still weak. Da で、そうまでであれ。All of the great Kadampa masters have taught similarly that if it serves as a remedy to your kleshas, it is dharma. And if it does not serve as a remedy to your kleshas, it is not dharma. In other words, we cannot practice dharma while uh, continuing to give our kleshas um, an opportunity, while continuing to entertain uh, our kleshas. Because the point of Dharma is to tame, or subdue, or conquer the clashes. ตาทําสมจื่อเป็นแค่ละจื่อเยอะเลยแต่ที่สุดที่เสียบ there are many meanings to the word uh, dharma, but one of its meanings uh, especially if you consider the Tibetan chu, is to fix, change, or improve. So basically we regard Dharma as a tool, a tool that we use to fix or change, for the better, our minds. Now as a tool, it has to be used. Possessing the tool and not using it is not going to achieve the function 
which the tool is designed to serve. If you, if you leave a tool on the tool bench, it doesn't do anything. Similarly, if Dharma is not used to fix or change your mind for the better, then it really has no point. ちょっと違うけど、サムロタ、ドア。で、ナズレ、よまね。で、メジュサね、あの、これ、ニョモバ、ジ、ニマリナロレ、ニョモバカレ、ケビネ、コラン、カレキグドロコ、ケチュシャ
Similarly, every day we do liturgical practices. For example, we recite and meditate on the daily practice of our yidams and so forth. And we do this so that we focus our day on goodness, that we point our mind for that day in the right direction. If the observance of such daily practices is perceived as some kind of burden, like taxes you have to pay on a daily basis, then there's really no point in it. The point of such daily regular observances is to gain the ability to choose the direction your mind moves in so that your mind doesn't wander like an unparented or unsupervised child who gradually becomes uh, wilder and wilder because they have no core. Just as parenting involves providing the warmth and safety of a home that forms a solid care for the cultivation of a gentle mind in the child, in the same way we do this uh, with our daily observances. <clears throat> Very peaceful, somewhat very relaxed. Little bit, don't worry. Because the meditation, which is a bit casual, that is, the society, so what is very comfortable position, somewhat that is, energy then very comfortable cushion, somewhat dig on then energy, so what is very comfortable position, somewhat that is. え、とだねで、ち、カシュレ。ルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルル
with a slight smile on your face and a mind that is in a state of deep peace and relaxation. Nevertheless, Dharma is not actually just doing nothing and resting in relaxation. Dharma requires effort. It requires strength. And sometimes it requires a great intensity of training, somewhat like the training that we find in the military, where much of the training of those in the armed forces actually imitates the conditions of warfare so that when the soldiers properly trained are in the field they are prepared for what they're going to experience and for what they're going to do. Similarly, Dharma, which prepares us uh, for life, is not always so comfortable. Sometimes it's extremely uncomfortable, even painful and irritating. Because Dharma training to be effective has to be realistic. We cannot use Dharma as a way to avoid reality and try to live in, in a dream of some other world, such as a pure realm or something. Dadi Jalea, Lavje, Zara Lavje Shivadi, Zara Dadi Shoran, Sunjusuniba, Shologa, Sunsuruba, Dona Khan, the Genum Chiji, Yaranga Simgi Negum Chindashe, Gundu Tenda, Shishin Debei, Shendujuba Yasela Lanes. Dadigi, Tamba the Shishin and Debegone, Shendujuba Labadi. Next, on the top of page 32, we find stanza 36, which explains the um, fourth aspect of the Bodhisattva training, which is a training in benefiting others through the application of faithfulness and vigilance. And it says, in short, whatever you are doing, to always, through mindfulness and vigilance, ask yourself, what is the state of my mind? and thereby accomplish the benefit of others is the practice of a bodhisattva. Tadi Tundadi Karesana Gyaresana Sanju Sambanam Gibe Karsunadaji Chiyabasana Dhanu Lalingi Jimba Ngarishyaba Dadathamji Tuen Dor Dube Ida Ne Chambada Shishi Manyamba Kitindu and Shembegi Samba Chod and Dembe Chod Shembegi Samba Sambu Jibi Yila Jang Tigi Semje Shingi Turn Druyade and Gavis of Shishi Samba Nangi Tuni Druve Be Lalan Tanjigi Zawa Nengar the Teres Rangers and Dikuns and Dene and the Kachu Norshilgi Divina this stanza actually summarizes all of the preceding uh, stanzas describing the training of a bodhisattva. The point of this stanza is that if all of the training, all of the practices of a bodhisattva is summarized, it consists of in uh, every place, in every environment, in every situation, and at all times, to constantly apply both mindfulness and vigilance to the honest investigation of the state of your own mind. And to ask yourself the question, is my mind at this moment in a state of virtue or a state of negativity? 
and based on that to uh, accomplish the um, good of others and thereby automatically the good of oneself. That is the uh, essence of all aspects of a bodhisattva's dream. Lapsa what is being said here is that while the training of a bodhisattva has many aspects, the only way to cultivate that training, to guard uh, or protect that training, is to guard one's own mind. And guarding one's own mind means to um, use the two faculties of mindfulness and vigilance to form the basis of, or, or use those faculties in an effortful way uh, to uh, investigate the state of one's own mind. <laughs> Of these two faculties, mindfulness is the faculty of not forgetting what to do and what not to do. Vigilance is the faculty of which enables us to recognize what our bodies, speech, and mind are actually doing, what their actual state is. Literally, we could say that what we call vigilance means knowingly or consciously. In other words, to be aware of one's own body, speech, and mind, to be conscious of them, not uh, to allow them to uh, act uh, unconsciously. Um so, mindfulness and vigilance and care or circumspection are extremely important. Without them, you can't or won't apply remedies to kleshas and you can't or won't sustain the training of a bodhisattva. The name is 
ane tu dado tembe charaki si jingi dado ji pao yi suen chi dere so tini ju san tu dado tembe ki charache o ka karcha do ta ji che ka ru ji charache o ane si jingi be dado che ane pao yi ji sab sab che suen che でしょ、俺。だって言うとさ、だって先輩さ、で、これ。そうそうそう、で、レガロ、コフシケ。うん、だんだな、そうそう、で、そうやで、カルソンゴ、で、そうやって、また、あまね。だって、カルソン、ニ
you dedicate all of the virtues, the virtuous actions, good deeds that you accumulate through a diligent or enthusiastic pursuit of a Bodhisattva's training and all of the uh, goodness accumulated by all other beings to the alleviation or the removal of all suffering of uh, each and every being. And you do this uh, with uh, the wisdom which avoids conceptualization or reification of the three aspects. Such dedication is the uh, skillful way that bodhisattvas ensure that their uh, virtue or goodness not only not degenerate, but increase and remain inviolate until they achieve perfect Buddhahood. Damn, Chanju Samba Nogi, Energy Rajingi, Taja Rang, Gavetsa, or Chisai, or that Hamji, and Samja Hamji, Dunga said, and no one. Ting one Baladine Gia Gavachi Sagro. That they are Samja Hamji, and one. Ting one Baladine Gavetsa, or they are Samja Hamji, and one. Gawa Mizibi did the base of the Kandajik with the Chikavetsa, the Seba Mel. That the Niji on the Otati Mizibi did Benaji saw the Ternaji, but that the Ben Mizibi did the Ben. That Rangi Laji, Kashura Daji, eh, Karajla Daji, eh. どばちょうせいげめば。たんじ、しんりょうきちょうどんうん。たんじ、ねげかんだらじ、おわさあてや。かねべ、じ、きゅうじ、しょうじ、せあらぶじ。てねじ、じぼじら、おわさあまれ、
Bera ngacu ki mizi gider mizi cil ve sahşa ve günur de. Ba mizi cil sahşa ve günur de. Tamam derler da ki sura dek yiyin saati. Ya ngacu ki dönda çınbıcı şadı. Mizi ile dönda çınbıcı. De ya bu mecuna dene nyorama bu soru da. Mizan alır be nyorama bu yuvar. Ceza da de maşi konla da cikti Susu saja bi junor de sura de gi insar da de sa ci mashi kone yi ti ar de de rusu yor Ta de susu gi bena ci susu le zawa yu de gi susu gi be haja susu gi de zawa chu yu de gi yana ci ne shira gi be karura de em ana da ci e telia Şema çın bu yöde ba, dinde zil dekir ba. O da denen şey çene susu ki gevey zava, düzümde sahşa ve gevey zava. De da kandarcı treasury izin en da adı, resource. Da kandarcı panzu yöre ve çın bu de, sulu de o. De susu da bu gel de var bu çınmayın ba. De sulu de o sana, da ki kajim ki simce tamze el de o. Kajim ki simce tamze el ya. Be, kajim ki simce tamze el ya ba, jine. Yani sosu tabuma gibi çeşi, kaç gibi simli tamcili bak cini. Çoğuza yeme, malüyü bak tamcili, kaç gibi simli tamcili cini diyecek o. Ceza di, da di, tindir samet döndü, leğe labı mı da var, leğe labı yok ama. Sosu müzicili sadece bak, böyle, o var çeşse adı leğe labı da var. Kara sana, karı çengirse, o var da çeşe çoğusu. O var çeşe ne koyu, sosu ki çala, kaşı sosu ki, Ngosu tegu maru wa. Tegu maru wa. Chesa ngwa da chetu sa re. Semni ngwa che ki yin yisa sa rojit na ko. Semni ngwa che ina lakbe ki pa tambu sim de na. Din tigo. Dini ju sa ne. Ngwa di dung ji siya ya. Dung. Din dung de gare sa na. Din li ji ki yin da. Din ju ngwa ji. We make a big deal out of uh, inheritance. In other words, we're very, very concerned about what will happen to our, our wealth and our property uh, after we die. We uh, take measures to ensure that our will uh, is enforceable and valid, and we're very, very careful about uh, to whom uh, we bequeath our stuff. Generally, we leave our money and our stuff to those we love most, those for whom we have the most affection. Well, similarly, if you ask to whom do bodhisattvas bequeath their virtue, they give their virtue to all beings without limit and without reservation because they have equal affection love for all beings. Now this is not that easy. It's easy to uh, say a dedication, I dedicate this, to, I dedicate that, because we say, we believe while we're doing it that we're not actually giving anything away. But a tight-fisted a dedication uh, is not enough. <clears throat> Diye ki dung diye karasın dung besin ölü diye. Böyle ya. Droba. Droba dizi. Dizi. Yöndeyen şira me. Lobjon şira çiniyo me. Dizi kubun ölü yaro. Ceza. Namcüye diye. Droba dizi. Dizi. Nyebcüye ölü şey yaro. Tungcüğün ölü şey. Droba dizi kanşiye maraya sor. Yine droba dizi tam tam be. Çumbu şu yaro. Aca ya. Çumbu çeyni de karşıya. De karşıya tincili ya. Lama çeki. Vankur rüz. Vankur. Vankur düzdene. Vankur düzdene. Mepan çeyiz. Mamurlu kuru. Ecik çeki. Tabi çeki.